video i'm going to be showing you how i keep organized as a online unisa student first things first i have this journal where i write all my weekly things that i need to do it keeps me extremely organized and knowing what i have to do obviously next thing is my tablet i use my tablet a lot for like my notes i don't write notes in it but i use it for studying a lot and then here we have my handy dandy notebook which i write all my notes in and as you can see i've separated each module using color coded sticky tabs and learning units so that i'm able to refer back also i heavily rely on these sticky notes um which i will show you in my book how i use it for additional information or if i have missed something or if something is in the tutorial book and it's not necessarily in the textbook and obviously obsessed with stationery duh i color code my notes a lot so that i'm able to know which um, unit is for what in my notebook i write all my weekly tasks and i also have a page where i focus on my semester test dates for the semester so i have each module on here as you guys can see and i have how many units it has and the date so that i'm just always up to date also i always try to correspond this back with what's going on in telegram or on the unisa email because sometimes they change the dates quite a bit and usually when i start my day obviously i use my tablet if you don't have a tablet obviously you'll either use your phone or your laptop um i always open telegram because with telegram you know it keeps you updated like all the time you guys and obviously i had ended up finding out that with auditing they decided to change the dates which i would have not known if i did not open telegram so if you're a unisa student i would suggest please make sure you get telegram because trust me you're going to get information on there that you're not going to get on my unisa very valuable and after this i always make sure that i open my school email and then with my school email i just check for like updates to see if there's any new things that our lecturers have told us and so on and so forth and immediately after this i go to the my unisa um uh, website to make sure that i see if there are any other announcements that did not reach my email <laughs> because one thing about this university they will try to play you okay they really 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 will so check your announcements all the time because that's going to keep you updated and write down all your dates and then obviously if you have a laptop then you do this on your laptop and not your tablet but just to keep every module in one place and while i study i always use um the tutorial book so that i can see the specific outcomes just to make sure that i'm studying the right things and i know exactly what i'm studying while i'm studying i also check um how much each test weighs just so i can see where i am and how much effort i need to put in etc etc um back to my notebook my notebook this is my handy dandy notebook as you can see it is separated in sections like i said and learning units learning unit one you can see that you know it corresponds each sticky tab corresponds with the heading of that page and what i did that week and usually all of this will correspond back into my journal of what i did during that week so i think for me i heavily rely on correspondence because like i said when you are a uni student you're all on your own you need to make sure that you do everything this was an extremely short video but i just wanted to show you guys what i do to stay organized and now i'm just highlighting and writing down everything that i've done to make sure that i move on to the next thing that i need to do for the next week i don't always finish my work but i try to finish my work within the week um it's usually one in a very long time where i don't finish the week but um yeah that's all i have to give you guys and i hope you enjoy this video it was extremely short but beneficial